Hi, Kristaps here from UGCS. As you may know, UGCS supports a wide variety of different autopilots. To ensure that they work correctly with our software, we have acquired most of them for testing. So, over the years, we have built up quite a diverse fleet of drones from different manufacturers. Our users often use the information such as land surveying, mapping, 3D reconstructions, and other. In these missions, flood precision plays an important role. This is why we have decided to test the drones against one another in terms of precision. This will be the first video in a series of videos in which we will compare the precision of different drones. To do this, we prepared a short photogrammetry mission. Drones are not equipped with cameras unless the cameras were integrated as in the case of DJI Phantom 4 for instance. All flights were made when the wind speed was relatively small, less than 10 meters per second and around 2 to 3 meters per second. We launched every drone on this mission and recorded the flight path. We will publish data from every flight one by one, and when we run out of drones, we will publish a comparison between them. And now for the first drone, the DJI Phantom 4, which we will use as a benchmark. This is one of the more modern ready-to-fly drones, and has become quite popular for photogrammetry applications even for professionals. Here we can see how the test route looks in UGCS. This is a simple yet typical photogrammetry route with overshoot parameter. Overshoot was added because we want to compare different turn types and we are interested in seeing the precision of flying according to survey lines. Here you can see the test route imported into Google Earth. Let's compare it to the flight of DJI Phantom 4 made with stop and turn trajectory. The autopilot was able to keep within the survey lines quite precisely, however, notice that there are slight imperfections in the corners. From a side view, you can see how the altitude compares to the test route. And now let's take a look how Phantom 4 performed when using the adaptive bank trajectory. Notice how the flight path is a lot smoother and the corners are rounded off. From side view you can see how the altitude compares to that of the test route. The link for the KML file from the flight can be found in the video description below. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.